sideline of the body. We're going to work the serratus anterior. The serratus anterior is located on the outer border of your scapula, your shoulder blade, and it connects to the first to eight, maybe nine ribs. And what the serratus anterior does is protract. It brings the scapula away from the spine, and there's a slight bit of upward rotation as well. It also stabilizes the scapula on the ribs. The internal and external obliques, together, they flex the trunk. But on their own, the internal obliques side bend to the same side and rotate to the same side. The external obliques side bend to the same side, but rotate to the opposite side. The gluteus medius adducts the hip, as well as internal rotation of the hip, and it stabilizes the hip. Having a strong gluteus medius is vital to keep the pelvis level so you can walk freely without engaging the low back or the quadratus lumborum to hike the hip to get that leg through. So today's class, side of flow, we're going to flow from posture to movement, focusing on the sideline of the body. So here we go, enjoy. So come down to the floor, lay on your back, knees bent, feet hip width apart, finding your triple S here. So you want to feel the back of the skull, the shoulder blades, and the sacrum connected and aligned. Take your block, put it between your thighs, either the middle width or the thin width, as close to the groin as you can, and gently squeeze the block. Lengthen your tailbone. Again, keep those ribs knitted together. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. And press through the feet and lift the hips into a low bridge. Engage those glutes. Reach the arms up to the ceiling, palms facing towards each other. Protraction. Reach those arms up towards the ceiling and then draw the shoulder blades back down to the mat without the ribs popping up. And reach up towards the ceiling and shoulder blades down. One more time, reach up towards the ceiling, and then shoulder blades down. Press the hands up as if you're pushing the ceiling away, and take your left hand and pull your right fingers back where the fingers meet the palm. And begin small little pulses here in the hips, warming up the posterior chain of the body, And if your shoulders allow, you can keep your ribs contained, reach those arms overhead to the floor behind you. You're still stretching out that wrist. Bring the arms back up, stop your pulsing, and switch hands. Pulling the left fingers back. Make sure that wrist crease is parallel to the front of your mat. The thumb is open, ribs are knitting, the belly's drawing in and up, and your glutes are activated. Now lower the arms down by the side, and sequentially lower upper back, middle back, and lower back. Take the block the thinnest way between your knees. Make sure your feet aren't wide so your knees are knocking in, so get those feet in line. Hands behind the head. Elbows point up to the ceiling. Now feel your back ribs on the ground as you lengthen your tailbone. You want to feel that sacrum pressing down without tipping the pubic bone down into an anterior tilt. So press that sacrum down, back ribs connected, take a deep breath in, and exhale, lift the shoulder blades off of the mat, look towards your belly or the block. Now pull this front body down, Keep your gaze where it's at and your shoulders lifted, but just soften the head back into your hands. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift the shoulder blades up, pull the front body in. Extend the left leg straight. 
Bend the left knee. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Draw the belly down. Right leg extends. Flex the foot. Bend the knee. Foot down. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift the shoulder blades up. Left leg extends. Right arm reaches. Reach from that right shoulder blade a little bit more. Hand behind your head, bend the knee, foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Right leg extends. Left arm reaches from that left shoulder blade, reach a little bit more. Hand behind your head, bend the knee, foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Left leg extends, right arm reaches. Reach a little bit more. Now reach your right hand to that left foot. Hand behind your head. Bend the knee. Foot down. Inhale and lower. Exhale. Lift up. Right leg extends. Left arm reaches. Reach up a little bit more. And reach the left hand to the right foot. Stay off of that right shoulder blade. Hand behind your head. Bend the knee. Foot down. Inhale and lower. Exhale. Lift up. Left leg extends. Extends, right arm reaches. Reach the right hand now to the outside of your left thigh. Press down into that sacrum and maybe lift the right heel or hover the foot about an inch off the floor. Foot down, right hand behind your head, left foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Right leg extends. Left arm reaches on the outside of that right leg. Press down into the sacrum and lift the left heel or hover that left foot off the ground. Foot down, hand behind your head, bend the right knee, foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Left leg extends. Right arm reaches on the outside, stay off of that left shoulder blade. Press the sacrum down, lift the right heel or hover that foot and maybe reach the left arm in line with your left ear. Hands behind your head, right foot down, left foot down, inhale and lower. Last one, exhale, lift up, right leg extends, left arm reaches on the outside of the right leg. Press the sacrum down, lift the left heel, maybe cover the foot, maybe reach the right arm in line with the right ear. Hands behind your head, left foot down, right foot down, inhale and lower. Beautiful. Grab the block between your knees. Come on up. Quadruped. So make sure your wrist creases are right underneath your shoulders and they're parallel to the front of the mat. Knees are underneath your hips. Find that connection of the triple S here. Skull, scapula, and sacrum. The shoulder blades are right there nestled on the ribs. Just Moving through the thoracic spine in our protraction, the lower back will not move. Serratus puffs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, push the floor and broaden the shoulder blades apart. And then inhale, bring back to neutral. Exhale, push. And then inhale, back to neutral. One more time. Exhale, push. And inhale, back to neutral. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right for a quadruped rotation twist here. Thread the needle. Push back up. Left fire hydrant. Keep that left knee bent so there's abduction, external rotation here. Knee down. Thread the left arm under. Push back up. Left fire hydrant. Try not to lean into the right side of your body. Left thread the needle. Push back up. Left fire hydrant. Back down. Three more serratus puffs. So as you push, broad between the shoulder blades. Keep your head where it's at, your low back where it's at. Come back to neutral. And then push. Really broaden the shoulder blades and come back to normal. And then push and back to 
to neutral. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. Push back up. And right fire hydrant. Keeping the pelvis as level as possible. Thread the right arm under. The left elbow can slightly bend. Right hand under the shoulder, right fire hydrant. Thread the right arm under. Come back into quadruped. Fire hydrant. Beautiful. Come down to your forearms. Forearms can be parallel or hands clasped, depending on your shoulders, but you want those elbows to be directly underneath your shoulders. Release the head, push and broaden here through the shoulder blades. And then come back to neutral and push and broaden and come back to neutral. Push those forearms down, broaden, pull the belly in even more, hover the knees, hoist the hips, maybe walk your feet in a little bit closer and let the head hang. Swivel your heels to the right. Swivel your heels to the left. Swivel your heels to the right. Swivel to the left. One more each side. Swivel. Keep pushing through those forearms. Let that head release. Swivel to the left. Come back to neutral. Lower the knees. Child's pose. Legs together or knees apart. Big toes together. And hold the container of your core here. There is some abdominal bracing. Huh. Hold those ribs. Turn those palms towards up as they, the arms reach forward. And then coming back up into quadruped and step forward to the front of your mat. Sun Sal one. Inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, fingertips plant. Step your right foot back, lower the knee, top of the foot. Inhale, arms reach. Now engage that right glute, press the right foot down and pull that left foot back. Watch this container of the core here, your ribs knit and lengthening through the side line of your body. Hands plant, come back into quadruped. Find your neutral spine here, feel the shoulder blades on the back, the serratus anterior is now stabilizing your scapula. Just step your left foot back, turn on that left glute, Step the right foot back, turn on that glute. Dial your hands here. They don't physically move, but there's an energetic dial and a pull back. Lower the knees, keep the glutes on, keep the container strong, lower with control, keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted. Inhale, pull back, reach the chest through for a baby cobra. Ribs and belly draw in, the glutes are activated. Exhale, curl the toes, lift up. Downward dog, walk your feet in a little bit. So you have equal weight on your hands and feet. Ribs are knitting, belly drawing in. Step your right foot forward, lower the knee, top of the foot. Inhale, reach up. Left foot presses, left glute activates, right foot pulls back. Reach those ribs away from the ball of the pelvis here. Hands plant, step your left foot forward, sit back into your hinge, and rise up with a long spine, inhaling. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, fingertips plant. Step your left foot back, lower the knee, but not the toes, rise up with your arms by your side. Activate that left glute, and begin rolling the shoulders here. Slight bend of the elbows. Slight turn of the ribs. Moving that shoulder blade up, back, down, and around. Hands plant, quadruped, right knee next to the left. Find that triple S in the length of your side body. Step your right foot back, engage that right glute. Step your left foot back, turn on those glutes. Quads are strong. Dial the hands, pull back. Keep the front of the throat lifted so you're not sinking your neck. Lower your knees right where they are and lower with control. Keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted. Inhale, pull the hands back, reach the chest through for cobra. Knit those ribs. 
Lower, curl the toes, lift up, downward dog, and walk your feet in. Take a deep breath in dog, and exhale, step your left foot forward, lower the right knee, not the toes, rise up, arms by your side. And as you engage that right glute and pull that left foot back, begin rolling the shoulders here. Hands plant, step that right foot forward, sit back into the hips, inhale, rise up. Sequence one, exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, plant the hands, step your right foot back, lower the knee but not the toes, rise up with your left hand behind your sacrum and right arm up to the ceiling. Inhale, reach the right arm up, keeping the ribs contained, and exhale, side bend to the left. Let the left ear release to the left shoulder and keep that right outer hip stabilizing, hugging in. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, right hand plants to the floor or a block underneath your right shoulder. Turning from the ribs, modify twisted crescent. Left arm will come along for the ride and the right ear re will release. Press through that right hand. Imagine it dialing out and pulling back, allowing that right shoulder blade to support you. Keeping the right leg parallel to the long end of the mat or kickstanding it to the right, send your left leg back into a modified side plank. Right hip is over your right knee, right shoulder over that right hand. Gaze can be down or ahead of you in front. Maybe lift that left leg up and maybe begin pulsing here, abducting the left hip. Stepping your left foot to the front of the mat, rise up to the right side of your mat into goddess, goal post your arms. Now zip up your pubic bone here and feel that triple S, skull, scapula, and sacrum. Your feet may have to come in a little closer and your feet may have to turn in a little bit more to maintain that neutral pelvis. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the left. Keep the shoulder blades on the back. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale up. Exhale, twist left. The lower body does not move. Inhale, exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, up, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center one more time. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, turn to the back of the mat, plant the hands, lower the left knee, bend the right knee. Thread your left arm under. Come back up to quadruped, left hip abduction. And in, thread it under. And quadruped, left fire hydrant, and in, thread it under, and up, fire hydrant, and in, three more, thread, quadruped, left fire hydrant, in, and thread, and up, fire hydrant, and thread, and up, fire hydrant. Step your right foot back, left foot back, plank. Lower the knees right where they are, keep the glutes on and the core strong. Push through the hands to broaden between the shoulder blades. Come back to neutral, serratus puffs here. Push and broaden, back to neutral. Again, push and broaden, back to neutral. Lower in one piece to the floor. Reach the arms back, palms are down. Lift up for locus. 
Glutes are on, ribs are on. Keep the neck in line with the rest of the spine. Lower hands plant, lift up, downward facing dog, and walk your feet in a little bit. Take a deep breath in dog, and exhale there. Coming to the other side. Inhale, and exhale, step your right foot forward, lower the knee, not the toes. Rise up, right hand sacrum, left arm up to the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left hand underneath your left shoulder. Turn the ribs to the right. Right arm will reach up. The left ear will release. Now push through that left hand. Imagine it dialing out and pulling back, leaning into that left shoulder blade. Keeping the left shin parallel to the long end of the mat or kickstanding the left foot. Step the right foot to the back of the mat, modified side plank. Your glutes are on, your front body's drawing in. Let the left ear release. You can also look down at your hand or look straight ahead. Maybe lift the right leg up. Keep pulling that left arm back. Left gluteus medius, stabilizing. Right, contracting. Step that right foot forward, open up to the left for goddess. Goal post your arms, keeping those ribs nice and knitted and that pelvis right underneath you. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, twist to the right, keeping your lower body stable. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn to the front of the mat. Hands plant, quadruped. Right knee down, left knee down. Thread that right arm under. Come back up. Right fire hydrant. And in. Right threads under. Push back up. Right fire hydrant. Thread the needle, right arm through. Quadruped, right fire hydrant. Thread, quadruped, right fire hydrant. Two more. Right thread, quadruped, right fire hydrant. Keep that front of the throat lifted here. Right thread and up. Quadruped, right fire hydrant. Step your left foot back. Step your right foot back. Now dial your hands here, pull back, glutes on, abdominals braced. Lower the knees right where you are, serratus puffs. Push through the forearms, excuse me, the hands, broaden between the shoulder blades and back to neutral. Push and broaden and back to neutral. One more time, push and broaden Back to neutral and lower to the floor in one piece. Reach the arms back, palms are down, lift everything up for locust. Pull the ribs and belly into center and up, glutes are on, neck in line. Hands plant, curl the toes, lift up, downward dog, and walk your feet in. Take a deep breath in, dog, and exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, rise up with that long spine. Sun Sal A. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, plant the hands under the shoulders. Keep the shoulders there as you step back into plank. You can also go to down dog and just hold there till we get there. Lower the knees or not, lower to the floor. Inhale, pull through for cobra. And exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Walk the feet in a little, equalizing the feet, the weight on your hands and feet. Deep breath in, and exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front. 
Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips. Plant the hands. Step back into plank. Or a downward dog. Lower the knees or not. Lower all the way or halfway. Up dog with cobra, flipping one foot at a time. And exhale, lift up. Downward facing dog, equalize the weight. Deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front. Inhale, rise up. One more time. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips. Step back into plank. Or a down dog. Lower the knees or not. Lower all the way or halfway. Pull through for up dog or cobra. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Stay here. Take a deep breath in dog. And exhale. Shift forward into plank. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Plank. Shoulder blades on the ribs here. Downward dog. Shift forward to plank. Downward dog. Hold here. Swivel your heels to the left. Swivel your heels to the right. Just like we did in dolphin. Swivel your heels to the left. Swivel your heels to the right. Swivel your heels to the left. Lower to the left side of your body. Bring your left forearm on the ground, elbow underneath your shoulder and make a fist. Knees are on top of each other, heels are in line with your butt. Hold this front body in, push through that left forearm, push through the lower left leg and side ridges lifting up and down. And two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, one more, six, down. As you lift the torso up, cross your right leg in front of your left thigh. Now, you can also sit on a block if you need more space to keep the spine long and the side body, the side body lengthened, or you can kick the left leg out in front of you. Bring your hands to prayer. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Prayer, exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, prayer, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, prayer, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Last time, inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Unwind to the left. Parallel your feet for side lunges. Sitting back into those hips. Now, if you need a block, to create more length in your spine, length in the sides of your waist, use that block. You know you're rounding in the spine when the belly is moving away from the mat. You can add a little bit of rib movement, side to side, fluid, flowing. Remember to sit back into those hips. You want the hips to go back, not the knees to go forward. Nice deep breaths. The next time your side lunge to the left, hold it there, right hand on the floor of the block under your shoulder, and turn the ribs to the left, let the right ear release. Hold the front body in, lean away from that left leg so that right shoulder doesn't dip in. Lower the left hand, turn back to the front of the mat, step that left foot next to the right foot, as you rise up, arms will come out to the side and the right leg will abduct and down and out and in. And keeping the right leg lower than you think. The higher you get, that leg will start to externally rotate and that right hip will hike. Stabilizing that left gluteus medius, working the right. Good. Next time that right leg is out, hold it 
open up, warrior two. Stack your head over your shoulders, over your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, side bend to the right. Let the right ear release, keeping your pelvis level. Lifting up. Lift those ribs up and over. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, warrior variation. Lifting up and over. Left arm lightly lands. Pull the belly in. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Let the right ear release. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Let the left ear release. Right glute on. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, windmill to the front. Plant the hands. Step that right foot next to the left foot. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, plant the hands under the shoulders, step back into plank. Lower the knees or not, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Push through those hands, dial the hands. Ah, knit those ribs, pull the belly in. Now we're going to pull those arms back to bring us into plank. And then back up into dog. Equalize the weight. And then pull through for plank. Glutes on. And then lift. Downward dog. And then pull through for plank. And then downward dog. Heel swivel to the left. Heel swivel to the right. Heel swivel to the left. Strong in those shoulders. Keep those shoulders aligned, heels to the right. Swivel the heels to the left. Swivel the heels to the right. Stay here and lower to the right side of your body. Right forearm down, elbow underneath the shoulder, left hand to your left hip. Stack your legs, heels in line with your hips. Pull the body in, front body. Here we go, Pour up for side bridges and down, pressing into the outer right Shin and foot, and right forearm, lift, and down, lift, obliques working, outer hip working, serratus stabilizing, up, down, a couple more, up, down, up, down, lift the torso, cross the left leg over the right thigh, seated twist position, hands to prayer, again, sit up on a block, or stretch the right leg out in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back to prayer center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, up to center. Exhale, prayer twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, keep turning to the right. Turning to all the way to the right. Parallel your feet. Side lunges. So you're on the other side of the mat. Maybe bring your hands onto a block to keep that neutral spine and pelvis. Maybe begin to flow the ribs side to side. This fluid creature sitting the hips back so the knees don't go forward. Next time you're over to the right, hold it to the right, left hand under the shoulder, rotate the ribs to the right, let the right arm release, left ear releases. As you push through that left hand, pull through and lean away from that right leg. Take a deep breath in and exhale, right hand down, turn back to the front of the mat. Step your right foot next to the left. Inhale, rise up. 
Left leg abducts, arms out to the side, and bring it in. Abduction. And in. Keeping that pelvis nice and level. Keeping the left knee and toes pointing to the front. Don't hike that hip up. Less is more. Stabilizing through that right gluteus medius. Engaging it on the left. Lengthening between the pelvis and the rib cage. Good. The next time that that left leg is up, hold it up and take it around to the back of the mat. Warrior two. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Side bending to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, warrior variation, up and over. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, windmill to the front. Plant the hands and step that left foot forward. Inhale, rise up. Whew. Get a drink of water. Wipe off the sweat, and we're going to put those two sequences together. So now for the stream. Come to stand at the front of your mat. Feel the length, feel the stability. Inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips. Step your right foot back, rise up, crescent lunge, left hand at your sacrum, right arm up to the ceiling. Inhale, reach that right arm up, and exhale, side bend to the left. Let the left ear release. So you can really pull that left foot back, turn on that right glute, hold strong in the core. Inhale, rise back up, reach the right arm forward, left arm back. Take another deep breath in. And exhale, lower the right hand down, step that right foot back a little bit, twisted crescent, and turn the ribs to the left, let the right ear release. Your pelvis stays nice and level, I'm not turning in my hips. Push the right hand, dial and pull back. Right shoulder blade supported. Deep breath in, exhale, thread the left arm under. Maybe tap the right ribs, maybe pull the left Leg towards straight, keeping the spine long. Inhale, arms reach up, left arm. Exhale, thread it under and pull towards straight, maybe. Inhale, bend the knee, twisted crescent. Exhale, thread it under. Good. Inhale, bend the knee, twisted crescent. Now you have the option to put the right knee down, left foot to the back of the mat for modified side plank. Or come onto the outer edge of your right foot. Stagger the left foot or stack it for side plank. Hips press forward, head moves back, pulling that right arm back towards your feet. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, step your left foot forward, turn to the right side of your mat. Goddess. This will be a little different. Deep breath in, goddess. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, prayer twisted crescent. Turn to the front of the mat. Right elbow towards that left thigh, long through the spine. Back up, inhale, goddess. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, prayer twisted crescent. You can stay there or shift and lift the right leg up. Lower to the floor if it's up. Goddess. Side bend to the right. Back to center. Prayer twisted crescent or prayer twisted revolved half moon. Lower it down. Goddess. Side bend right. Prayer twisted crescent or hover the right leg. And down. Two more. Goddess. Side bend, up, prayer twisted crescent, or float. 
One more. Goddess. Side bend. Up. Prayer twisted crescent. Or float. Wherever you are, lower the right hand to the floor of the block and the left arm can reach up and to revolve half moon. Gaze can stay down. Make sure your pelvis is level so you're not sinking into that right hip. Lower the left hand, lower the right knee, left knee down. All right, take a deep breath in here. Exhale, thread the left arm under, stay there, and extend the right leg back, knee and toes pointing to the right. Bring the knee down, push back up into quadruped, left fire hydrant, and bring it in. Thread the left arm under, extend the right leg back, Right knee down, left hand plants, left fire hydrant. Good. Left thread, right extend, knee in, quadruped, fire hydrant. Thread it under, extend, knee in, quadruped, fire hydrant. Thread it under, extend it, knee in, fire hydrant. One more time, thread it under, extend, hold it here, and begin pulsing. Little bitty abduction here in that right hip. Hold your belly in and up and knit those ribs. Good, bring that right knee down, push up into quadruped, step back into plank. Serratus puff, push the mat away, bring the Scapula back on the ribs, downward dog, twist your heels to the left. Good. Sit the left hip down, push it back up, downward dog. Forward into plank, serratus puffs, push. Back to neutral, downward dog. Swivel your heels to the right, tap your right hip down, bring it back up. Plank. Serratus puff, back to neutral, downward dog, swivel the heels to the left, now sit to the left side of your body, stay down, left forearm down, right hand to your hip, side bridges, here we go, press and lift, now you can add a clamshell, so open that right thigh into external rotation, great, Two more. Six. Nice. Lift your body. Cross your right thigh over your left. Side bend to the right. Unwind to the left. Parallel your feet. Side lunge to the left. Right hand down. Left arm reaches. Left hand down. Turn back to the front of the mat. Seated twist. Right hand down. Left arm reaches over. Coming back up, windmill to the left side of the mat. Sit back into that left hip, side lunge twist. Left hand down, turn back to the right side of your mat. Right hand down, side bend. And up, unwind, side lunge to the left, right hand down, hold it here. Lower the left hand, turn back to the front of the mat. Step that left foot forward, Utkatas and chair pose. Now swing, keeping the spine long, rise up, right leg abduction, arms out. Good, arms lift, and swing, and left leg out, and swing, and right, arms are lifting up, swing, and up, and swing, right leg out. And swing, and left leg out, and swing, and right leg out, and swing, and left leg out, and swing, right leg out, hold it here. Windmill that right leg, so take the right leg back, bent knee, half moon, left forearm or left hand to the left. 
reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, warrior variation. Left forearm gently lands on that left thigh. Now lift the left forearm up and maybe reach it in line with your left ear. Stay there or maybe lift the left heel. Really holding on to that right glute, pressing that right foot down. Lower the heel, warrior two. Reverse triangle, left leg extends. Inhale up. Exhale, windmill to the floor. Step that right foot forward. Inhale, rise up. Second side. Exhale, bend the knees, pinch at the hips. Plant the hands, step your left foot back. Rise up, crescent lunge. Bend that back knee to get that pelvis right underneath. Right hand sacrum, left arm up. Deep breath in. And exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back, twisted T. Deep breath in. Exhale, left hand to the floor or a block, right arm up. Maybe move that left foot back a little bit. Inhale, twisted crescent. Exhale, thread under. Maybe pull the right leg towards straight as long as you can keep the spine long. Inhale, bend and open. Exhale, thread. Maybe pull towards straight. Inhale, open. Exhale, thread. Maybe pull. Inhale, open. Hold it here. Now again, you have the option of lowering the left knee and taking the right leg to the back of the mat for a modified side plank. Or, come on to the outer edge of your left foot. Stagger or stack your feet on top of each other. That left hand is under my shoulder. Hips forward, head back, ribs in. Deep breath in. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Open to the left. Goddess. Deep breath in. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, prayer, twisted crescent, front of mat, pivot your feet. Left elbow towards the right thigh. Inhale, goddess. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, prayer, twisted crescent, or shift and float that left leg. Lower it down. Goddess. Side bend. Goddess. Prayer twisted crescent or hover. Lower. Goddess. Side bend. Up. Prayer twisted crescent or float. Lower. Goddess. Two more. Side bend. Up. Prayer twisted crescent. Left elbow. Hold or float. Last one. Goddess. Side bend. Goddess. Prayer twisted crescent or float. Wherever your left foot is, stay there. Lower the left hand to the floor of the block and reach the right arm up for revolved half moon. Lower the right hand, lower the right knee, left knee, right knee lands quadruped. Take a deep breath in quadruped, and exhale, thread your right arm under, extend your left leg back, knee and toes point to the left. Bring that knee in, right hand plants, right fire hydrant. Thread the right, extend the left leg, left knee in, quadruped, Right fire hydrant. Thread the right. Extend the left. Knee in. Hand plants. Right fire hydrant. Three more. And thread. Extend. In. Quadruped. Right fire hydrant. And thread. Extend. Knee down. Hand down. Right fire hydrant. One more. Thread. Extend. Knee down, quadruped, fire hydrant. Last one. Thread it under, extend, and pulse. Lower that left knee, come back into quadruped, step back into plank. Push the floor and broaden between the shoulder blades. Come back to center, downward dog. Swivel the heels to the right, tap the right hip down, come back up, downward dog. Pull through for plank, push and broaden between the 
your shoulder blades back to neutral. Back into down dog, swivel the heels to the left. Tap your left hip down, bring it back up. Push through, through plank, back up. Swivel the knees to the left. This time, sit all the way down. Right forearm down. Legs are stacked. Here we go. Side bridges and lift. Add that external rotation of the top leg like a clamshell. Hold that front body strong. Last one. Rise up. Left leg in front of the right thigh into a seated twist. Spiral here. Left arm out. Side bend to the left. Rise up. One and wind to the right side of your mat. Parallel your feet. Side lunge to the right. Left hand down. Right arm reaches. Right hand down. Turn back to the front. Keep spiraling to the left in your seated twist. Left hand down. Side bend to the left. And up. Unwind to the right. Parallel your feet. Side lunge to the right. Left hand down. Right arm up. And down. One more. To the front. Seated twist to the left. Left hand down. Side bend. Up. Unwind to the right. Side lunge to the right. Left hand down. Right arm up. Hold here. <sighs> right hand down. Come back to the front of the mat. Right foot steps nest to the left. Uttanasana chair pose. Good. Swing, chair, rise up. Left abduction. Swing, rise up. Right abduction. Swing, rise up. Left abduction. Swing, rise up. Right abduction. Swing, rise up. Left and swing, rise up. Right. Last one. Swing, rise up, left. Taking that leg around to the back, right knee bends, bent knee half moon. Whew. So you can stay with your forearm on your thigh, your hand. You can come to a hover. Or you can bring your hand down to the floor for half moon. Warrior two. Woo! Inhale. Exhale, reverse. Side bend left. Inhale up, exhale, side bend to the right. Hold here. Float the right forearm off of your right thigh. Reach the right arm in line with your right ear. Maybe lift the right heel. Lower the heel. Woo! Falling forward. Warrior two. Exhale, reverse. In. Oh, and straighten that right leg. Reverse triangle. Sorry about that. Inhale up, windmill to the front, plant the hands, lower the left knee, lower the right knee. Deep breath in. Exhale, cat. Inhale, pull through for cow. Keep your abdominals braced. Exhale, cat. Inhale, pull through. Exhale, cat. And inhale, pull through. Good, come back to a neutral spine. You can come onto your back from left figure four or bring your left knee forward outside of your left hip. Walk your right leg back in line with that right hip. You can keep those back toes curled under. Zip up your pubic bone here. And then come down to your forearms for pigeon. Now keep an active pigeon so that left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. Pubic bone zips up, ribs are knitted in. So we're coming from strength. And again, if you're not able to come into pigeon, lie on your back into a left figure four. You can keep your right foot down. You can lift the right leg up. You can grab behind that right hamstring or not. Good, and then curling the back toes under. If you're on your back, switch sides. You can come through. Down dog and switch to the other side. If needed, you can always put a block or a blanket underneath that externally rotated hip. Active pigeon. So we're not sinking and collapsing into the joint space. Keeping that length between your pelvis and your ribs. Lengthen your 
spine. Good, and then coming up, if you're in pigeon, just bring that back leg around. Everyone find your way onto your back, knees bent, feet hip width apart. And then just lift the hips up a couple times to extend the hips. Remembering keeping those ribs knitted, moving from the glutes, just centering yourself. And then stretch one leg and then the other pretty wide and open the arms out to a low wide V. Take a deep breath in and exhale. And if you would like to stay longer in Shavasana, you can turn the video off or pause it now. Because we're only going to stay here for a little moment. And begin to deepen your breath, bring your hands back onto your body to connect, and bring your legs closer together, keep them straight, option to reach the arms overhead to the floor behind you, and as you inhale, lengthen the tailbone towards your heels, lift the ribs away from the bowl of the pelvis towards the armpits, and exhale, release, bending one knee and then the other, rolling to the side or rolling up. Coming to a comfortable seat. Feel grounded in your sit bones. Zip up your pubic bone so you're not dipping forward into that, that pelvis. As you knit the ribs, lengthen the side waist. Feel that connection of skull, scapula, and sacrum. Feeling that sideline support. And just in your own mind, answer this question in one word. How are you feeling in your body right now? Feel free to bring your hands to heart center, bowing your head. We could all use a side of flow, a side of flowing, going with it, being with what's so. Where are you resisting? What so? Where are you resisting what serves you? Flow into each moment with gratitude, patience, compassion, and love. It's with much love and gratitude I say, I love you, my friends. Be well and namaste. Thank you very much.